What's up everybody? Blue Gabe, welcome to Stewart, Florida. We got my son Luke, we got my son Jake who's already trying to get his fishing rod out, and we got my beautiful girlfriend Crystal. Today you're getting a different style video. Today you're going to get something that we've never done before on this channel. We're going to take, we've got some dip nets, some fishing rods, some spear guns, and some snorkeling gear. Unfortunately, the water is as dirty as I've ever seen it on high tide in Stewart, Florida. So we're going to have to stick with the fishing poles. We've got a cast net and the dip net, and we're going to have to try to catch a fish. Each one of us is allowed to enter one fish. It has to be legal inside the regulations. Well, said that you can't eat blue crabs. I'm getting to that. So each one of us are allowed to put one fish in the basket, whatever it is, as long as it's legal, and we're going to cook it. We're going to cook all four of them on the little grill that's right there has to be legal. Now Luke's wanting to throw us for a curveball and he says, can I enter a blue crab? If you catch a blue crab big enough, you can enter it. It's got to be within four inches from tip to tip and that's pretty small. So I've been to this island before. I, I saw a massive blue crab. We'll strike out and go find one. So we have something really cool right here in this bucket. We have some shrimp that if you watched our last shrimping video, that's where we caught them. So we're going to take shrimp that we caught ourselves and try to catch something that we can cook and eat. And also, Jake has a whole batch of NLBNs. No live bait needed. So that's sort of like cheating using those. All right, the challenge starts now. I outfished you in the Everglades video on NLBN. You got that right. Here's the cool thing, though. You see this one fish right here? That's called a whiting, just like a little chummy bait. It jumped in the boat while we were pulling up, so I really quick took the cast net out of the basket. And I'm calling that my bait. You're not allowed to use that bait. I actually was going to steal it while you weren't looking. But that's so all right. Go go I got my it. cast net. I'm going to throw it and catch a bunch. We could catch snook. We can catch mangrove snapper. We can catch catfish, barracudas, blue crabs. There's a bunch. Barracuda. There's a, there's a challenge going on, and we're going to see who wins. You're sticking with the NLBNs? I'm sticking with team NLBNs. Hey, I don't blame you. I'm she out Crystal outfished me with the NLBNs before. I had one of my best days me and abram were fishing this neighborhood pond i i in number wise i've had my best day of bass fishing on this same color what is it like why do women always think what's ours is theirs <laughs> but then what's theirs isn't ours i'm gonna buy this little bait because i'm still you know like a five out of ten on the cast net situation i i hope he falls off when you throw him all right the challenge starts now this is fun we're here we got a grill we got some beautiful weather. Luke's gone. We don't even know where he's at. He's that away somewhere. We're on a big island. I forgot to mention that. We're on a big island. So Luke can't get off the island. If he does try to swim off the island, there's a good chance that the sharks might get him. So hopefully that doesn't happen. Gabe, I'm fishing. Oh, my bad. I didn't see you there. <laughs> Look at the barracuda just ate a chummy right there. He sure enough did. Perfect. Crystal just stole my one and only bait. So I had to come over here and catch one. Oh god. I have a boy, Gabriel. You have a what? Look at that, a boy. Oh, I caught mullet. Oh no. Oh, I only caught one. Sorry, babe. Caught one mullet and one sand perch. That's called a mahara. If you follow along closely, you've seen us cook these before, but they were much bigger. Okay, what'd you throw out there? I put a mullet on a little knocker rig just so I can be doing other things. I like to multicast. <laughs> You're gonna wanna go with the live mullet too, Luke? I'm going with a shrimp. A shrimp? Well, I need to rig you up a different rod. I got your little gray one in there for a shrimp. Can we see if I can... Normally I wouldn't help... Uh, the competitor? The competitor, but I'll help you because you're so sweet. Luke? Yeah, he's sweet. Luke, are you sweet? He's sweet like watermelon. No. Let me see your face really quick. You still got pizza on there. <laughs> Since I have the most faith in what Luke is using, which is shrimp and just a hook, I'm going to help him a little bit because I actually do want to eat something. Luke, come here. I'm going to show you one time and then you're going to do it the rest. Anytime you have braid on your line, on your reel, pull some out because when it's dry, it doesn't cast really good. All right, take two. Keep that rod tip up. Whoa! Big fish! You see that barracuda just jump? He went nuts. Nuts! That was a snook. That was a barracuda. He jumped like I, six I, more I, high. Oh my god. Probably 
cut me off. That's exactly what Dang. I Dang! Luke, you better be ready. You're gonna get snapper bit here in just a second. That was awesome! I just caught a sponge with my sure, foot. Me what? Sea yeah, that was a barracuda. He bit me off, but I got oh, heavier leaders. Got I'm gonna catch it. Oh dang! You still got shrimp. Hold on. You got plenty of meat on there. There's something right there that lives. Yes. Yeah, All right. Toss it in there. Something lives right there. Good job. Perfect. Flip your bell and be ready. Uh oh. Jake's trying to snag oh, with. Oh yeah, you got one. Oh yeah. Nice! Walk, walk him to the beach! Walk him to the beach! You got a measurement. Here, let me hold your rod. Let me hold Luke, your... that is definitely a keeper. <laughs> well, I don't know how we're going to compete against Luke because he just caught a snapper, <laughs> a keeper snapper. And that is delicious. These things like to bite Luke, you. turn towards me right here. You see how whenever they, like, you bear hug them and they, like, try to bite they at you? They snap. They're, that's why they call them snappers, I reckon. These things have got bear pirate teeth. Good job, perfect. You all right? Show me your catch. If if you ever catch one of these, never hold it by its mouth like a bass. Mm -mm. And this thing would bite the heck out of you. Yep, you're exactly right. Show me your fish. Show me your fish. Pick mm. him up. Pick him up. There you go. By his gills. Look See? at him snapping. That's crazy. But Man, he's a mean dude. I don't even have to measure him. I know he's a keeper. <laughs> That he is, looks kind of small to me. No, he's definitely a keeper. If you let him get away, though, you're going to lose the challenge because you'll probably win with that fish. Unless I catch this barracuda. Luke, oh. you got caught another one. Oh, you're going to win the challenge because any of us can catch anything. This one's bigger. Can we keep him? Let me see. He's a big one. Not. A what? You better get him on the beach before he gets away. Get him on the beach. Get him on the beach. Oh, He's about to get away. Get him on the beach. Did you say you're eating jellyfish for dinner? <laughs> Jake, I think we should go around this corner right here. Oh, crud. Your dad's already beating us to it. He's trying to catch some bait. Luke's got mangrove snapper number two. Oh, wee them teeth. You I got, got bit it? by one of these before. I, I was trying to get the hook out, and like he was opening his mouth, so I reached down there, like grabbed the hook. Yeah. He bite the crud out of me. Mm. These things are like mini sharks. Very aggressive, huh? Yeah. Do you want me to help you? Oh, look at the, here, yeah, sh show the camera teeth. those teeth. Put it in the light. Look at them teeth. He's got fangs, doesn't he? Mm-hmm. I got a game changer. I've officially got a game changer. What do you have in that net? I only had to wait out there amongst the sharks to get it, but I got it. You got snook candy? Just take a look. Golly! Look at you! Now half of them are gonna get out, and that's all right. That is a bunch of, we're gonna be out all night fishing. Gabriel. Look at that. We are fishing all night. Got our little makeshift bait well right here. Oh, hey, you got the goods, man. I got the goods. You got Jake, the you, goods. Might, you might wanna. Might wanna swap to some, I don't know, well, never know. His bait does say it all, no live bait needed. That is very true. Big bait, big uh -oh. fish. Hotel. I'm gonna take this finger mullet that I caught off and put one of them chummies on because barracudas love them things and so do this big is snappers. Perfect. I'm gonna catch a big old snook on that. If it makes you feel Dang, they better. are. Look at them. They can fit out of there. <laughs> Only the little ones. <laughs> Look at that bait Look right there. <laughs> That's a good one. Maybe we should chum a little. Look at Luke back there Dude, Luke ripping them. Um, spanking us right ripping now. Ripping lips back there. Biggin. Biggin. Can you please give, well, I guess if you catch one for all of us, we'll have plenty to eat. That's, That's true. another keeper. Good job, Luke. Are we keeping them? Yeah. Here, babe, I caught this bait just for you. Catch me a big one. 
Somebody's got to outfish Luke. The only thing I've caught thus far is bait. Here what you do right here. Stop. <laughs> I actually know what that feels like now. Luke, how are you going to come up here and catch three big keeper mangrove snappers this fast? I don't know. I didn't have hope of catching one of these in the car. Oh! Dang. That's happened to me twice. He didn't want to be dinner. Here's what we can do. Look, I'm going to show you a trick. Take the net and put it right over them. And they can't get away. Go catch us. You think you can catch four? I can, I can just do this all day. It's way too fun. By the time we leave, we'll catch about like 50 of them. You sure did put a big piece of bait down. Yeah, that last time I put on a big piece of bait, so I'm putting on again. You guys, I swore we were only going to film each other catch one fish, but Luke's stealing the show, so. Normally doing what Luke's doing, you catch smaller mangroves, but... Got him. Look at this! He's stealing the show at this point. Oh, he's a small one. Well, he's still a fish and you're catching more than us. I hooked him by us. his eye. Sorry, fish. Let me see. I hooked him by his eye. You dang sure did do that. Them things are like piranhas. You had your bait stolen? I can probably put another one of them baits right here on this rod. Listen, growing up with two older brothers, golly, this kid's schooling me. One thing I learned having two older brothers, when somebody's catching fish somewhere, go get right up in their spot. Hey! Look, that's the biggest one yet, I think. Oh, I spilled water in my eye. Oh, goodness! I just got hit so hard. So hard. You're all wrapped up. Come over here and pitch your live bait right up to that tree. Here, let's put your rod in the tree because it can, that's like a rod holder and you flip a live bait over here. Somebody's got out fish Luke or we're never going to hear the end of it. All right, folks, they are officially racing back to the tree. They both got the same bait, same sort of rods. Who will prevail? Who will catch the first fish? Will it be Beachy? Or will she look? Oh my goodness. That's like a snapper, just smaller. Ta-da! That Wait. ain't no keeper. I got you a bait right here. Uh-oh, Luke just went back into position. He still has a chance to win. Yeah, I've already caught like five already. I know, Luke. You're pretty far ahead, but there's a chance somebody could run you down. Biggin. The small ones are eating the chummies. A big and a small one. You need to go back to the shrimp because the shrimp are getting ate by big ones. Oh, she did just land pretty good right there. That is weird. That is weird. You'd think that live bait would get the bigger ones. Luke, I'd go back to shrimp. Jake, get you a bear hook and get some shrimp on because the big snappers are biting. Did y'all not get the snook chummed up? No, I haven't got a snook chummed up. The snook are probably on that point and when the tide gets lower, they'll come up. I bet we'll catch a big snook at some point. Yeah, I need to catch something too. I'm gonna target, I think a barracuda or a catfish. That's what I'm going after. I'm pretty proud of my little makeshift bait well right here. Except for this little guy, they're all doing good. Current can just flow right through it. That's all the rattling. What are you doing? Well, Lake seems to be doing all the catching around here, so I'm just gonna cook. <laughs> Is that enough? Or should I fill that thing up? No, that should be enough. All right, okay. We always put too much in it anyways. Yep, that should be. That whistling noise you hear is a uh, osprey. Jake, I hate to break it to you, but your little brother's putting it to us. I know. Well, I'm gonna attempt to catch a catfish. I got two sinkers, 50 pound leader, and a whole shrimp. 
That's what I've been trying to do too, but out here there's a bunch of seaweed rolling with the current and it keeps getting on my line. But you can try it for sure. Oh, you can't. Oh, Luke's definitely fixing to catch one where he just put it. This big old beautiful piece of, it's not driftwood, it looks like driftwood, but this tree used to be here and it used to be alive. The erosion, it's fallen over probably who knows how long ago and the waves crashing on it has turned it into what it is. It's definitely a pretty piece of wood. It's an old Australian pine tree. It also fits as a rod holder. Yeah, we got two rods in it right now. Well, now we're about to have three. I brought a lighter, it was on them towels. Yeah, we have a stick lighter right here. The reason we're not doing a natural fire with wood is because most of this wood's not really flammable. It's not good cooking wood. And this is a lot cleaner. We can clean this up and take it with us and nobody will ever know we were here. You're going to take control of the grill. Me and Jake are going to walk around the corner and try to go catch a snook. Good luck, boys. Come on, Jake. Let's go for a walk. Coolest thing about this little bait bucket is we can take it with us. Come on. You got something? Yeah. I think so. The whole tree was just shaking. Oh, yeah. We got something. What on earth? Whatever it is, was snatching hard. Oh yeah. Bro, you just caught a mutton I snapper. A mutton snapper. Unfortunately, he's not legal, but that's still a cool catch. Let me see him up close. Look how pretty that snapper is. Hey, you didn't get skunked. I didn't get skunked. I'm still skunked though. Swim off strong. Good catch. I just threw a chummy out on just a plain hook with no weight. He's using a split shot and a plain hook, but you got a 50 pound test on it. Yeah, I was throwing that NLBN and usually catch big snook on those. So I came prepared with 50 pound test. The snook might not be here right now. There is a ton of snapper though. Wait, what happened to my other sinker? I don't know, but I hopefully that storm pushes off. Yeah. That might ruin our plans. I'm throwing in the towel folks sometimes you just gotta admit you've been beaten my nine-year-old or eight-year-old i can't even remember how old he is has stomped me this afternoon straight up stomped me i get a little bit of the credit though because i did rig his rod so i get to eat one of his mangroves this storm's looking nasty so i'm gonna ease around the corner we're gonna clean all four of these beautiful snapper he's caught and put them on this grill it will be good i'm actually excited that i don't have to eat catfish or anything else not that catfish and barracuda is not really, really good, but nothing beats mangrove snapper. Dude, that just happened. Did you just see that huge splash? What happened? What happened? What happened? I got something eating me right here. That huge jack just came right by me while I was talking to you guys. And then I turned around and got hit on this side. Well, that was a lot to take in at once. Anyhow, we're gonna go cook. The mullet run's happening right now. And there's thousands and thousands of finger mullet. Put one of the biggest snappers of the day. He's got a giant right now. Oh, I come around the corner and they're just going to rub it in and say he has another giant. I got to admit defeat. He whooped me. But like I told the camera a second ago, I rigged his rod so I get at least one good fish to eat. You call it cheese and this is going to be the bait and this is going to be the spot. Seriously, son? Yes. Are you just gonna keep catching them until you just can't catch them no more? Yeah. I mean, that's a that's a 13 or 14 inch mangrove snapper off the beach right here in Stewart, Florida. The easiest way to get a mangrove off, and Luke really knows how to do it, is you get it into your chest and pop it out. But his teeth are something serious. Look at that. If he bites you, it will hurt. How many do you have? One, two, three, four, five, six. You're ca You've caught six to our none. They're shrimp. The good thing is, is we just caught these shrimp about three days ago. I'm gonna show you right now a couple throws. If you wanna watch a shrimping video, go back two videos in the past, and I did a shrimping video. I'm gonna show you how we caught them right now on the cast net. I'm not gonna show you everything, but this is a catch up challenge. We caught the shrimp, and now we're catching the fish that we're gonna have for dinner. If you didn't catch these shrimp, we wouldn't be out here fishing like this. Or we wouldn't be catching anything because we wouldn't have any bait. 
Or we would still have the shiners over there. Or whatever those are. They're chummies. <laughs> this is insane. Don't point at him. Don't point at him. Bring him over here. Nice and easy. Come on. You got him. This kid. Jake, I just caught a snook. Your brother on his own. I'm over there trying to get the fish cooked. Did you catch him on a dead shrimp? Yeah. All right, here. I got your rod. I got your rod. I'm going to put it up here. Oh, no. You guys, if you ever have reels, don't put them in the sand. No, unfortunately, he's too small. Hold him. Oh, they got a mean head shake. Hold him up just like that. Beautiful fish. Congratulations. I've won the fish lottery. Dude, we, we couldn't even catch you right now if we wanted to. Luke, are you in a sticky situation? Yeah. What happened? Are you hung up in a tree? It's it happens. A tree right now. It happens to the best of us fishermen. Want. Let's go see how Gabe is doing on the grill. Cause OB she's getting a little hungry. Babe, you said this was survival. Listen. What are those? Listen, <laughs> listen, Linda. <laughs> I didn't know what we were going to catch mm -hmm. and how bad it was going to taste. So I brought a little bit of everything to make sure if we caught something that wasn't really good, <laughs> I could possibly make it taste good. That I've already cleaned these two snapper and I'm going to show you how I did it in just a minute. Super easy and super nice. I've got just some sticks that I cut down from over there and all we're going to do is put it on the grill. Just like that. I gutted them and scaled them and that's it. That grill is going to be super hot, so I got to watch them really carefully. Once they're getting to be cooked, these sticks will come out, and I'll show you how to clean another one. I've got some soy sauce, some avocado cilantro, some Everglades. I could have made uh, any fish taste good with everything that I have here. But in a survival situation, just pack these in your bag in case you really need them. I mean, that Everglades would make a piece of stick taste good. This stuff, put it on a leaf just like a salad. This right here put some seaweed in it. You pay a lot of money for that at a sushi restaurant. A couple mangrove snapper, some cast nets, got lots of live bait, some shrimp. We're gonna eat like kings, no big deal. The only thing I wouldn't wanna do is be stuck on this island at night with the no CMs and the mosquitoes. Other than that, we could survive. The rats and stuff like that, they don't bother me. We probably needed some olive oil though. Come over here and look at it up close. We actually do have some olive oil but they don't have olive oil on islands when you're surviving. Maybe coconut oil. You could get lucky and find a bottle of Everglades that somebody <laughs> discarded and it floated up on the shore along with the other trash. So this could be a real life, you know, survival situation and you could find something like this. I mean, you never know. People, I know I saw on the news the other day, the mayor, the mayor of Tampa mayor. found like a million dollars of cocaine floating. I mean, imagine that. She probably didn't sleep for weeks. One thing you will be able to find on an island, especially an island surrounded by salt water in Florida, is coconuts. If you know how to make coconut oil, you're in luck. It is flammable though, so pull it off the heat as soon as possible. Them boys are over there arguing like crazy about who knows what. See, if you wanna get fancy, take them off the flames uh-oh. Uh-oh, never mind. Never mind, I prematurely talked. Here's my stick. Sharpened it with my Danko knife. Look at that. You excited for some fish eyeballs? No. Why? You know I don't eat those. Oh no, he's sticking just a little bit. That's alright, that was just skin. I'm actually pretty hungry. The Burger King wore off. The Burger King went through me pretty fast. <laughs> we had Burger oh King God, for lunch. It looks so good. This is Luke's favorite meal. You like fish like that, Luke? Fish on the bobby. I think it's done. It won't be long and it will be done. For sure. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So the fish is done, but while it's cooling off, because I hate it when somebody tries something that's hot and they spit it out and it falls all over the plate. We're gonna show you how to clean one of these fish, just super fast. I got a butter knife. 
Right on the dirt, it doesn't matter, folks. We're on an island, who cares if there's a little bit of dirt? Scaling, fast as you can. Just imagine there's like coyotes and wolves and grizzly bears out here, and this is a survival situation. They're all hungry too, so you're in a hurry. You get him scaled as fast as you can, just like this. All the way down to his tail. Don't miss any, because scales are not good. Just like so. Give him a quick rinse. Take your Danko knife, which if you're ever on this island stranded, you're gonna be in luck because I recently lost a Danko knife. We have no idea where it's at. None. That's what I'm saying. I mean, you never know. You can find anything on an island. Cut him on his gills, just like so. Then slip the knife in here, just like so. Stick your thumb in here. Oh, don't mind that little bit of splatter and his gills will come out. Take a little slit, just like that, I already did some. Stick your finger in here, and pull all of his entrails out, just like so. Get them all cleaned out. Go back to your Danko knife, give him one more wrench, just a couple little slices. I mean, that's all you gotta do. That fish is ready for the barbie, as the Australians say it, right there on this beach. Take you a little bit of Lowry's, a little bit of Old Bay. About that much, smooth it all down. Dude, you're not gonna die when you do that. You have food to eat. Dig in, Luke, it's time. Oh yeah. How much sand's on your fingers? Oh my God. That's so good, huh? Oh my gosh, 10 out of 10. He just stole your line. <laughs> 10 out of 10. All right, y'all dig in. That is so good. Be careful down there by the ribs. Dang, Jake just went for a whole handful of skin. My skin's good. Oh, it's still hot. The huh? tail's like a chip. For real? Oh, yeah. This is delicious. Super easy, super fresh, super fun. I'm telling you guys, if you're new to the channel, go back in my library. I have a video for everybody. Like if you like shrimping, I got tons of them. I got tons of hog hunting and deer hunting and traveling and to Puerto Rico and Jamaica and Mexico and everywhere in between. Right now though, we're gonna turn this camera off and enjoy each other's company. We're gonna clean all this mess up. We're gonna keep fishing. We're gonna head back to the house, pack up and head to Colorado, to Yampa, Colorado. We're going elk hunting. Right now though, this video is ending. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. But like Jake always says, it's time to get up out of here and get the heck out of shape. See y'all.